Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Darkest Dungeon 2. I am It's Gross, and today we are going to continue where we left off last time. We just finished our first adventure, everybody died, and now we have to start over, I think. I don't know, we'll find out together. So I realized in post-production that I did not record any of my audio, so we're gonna have to make do with voiceovers, um, and I'll video will be shorter than it originally was, but that's okay. A nebulous nightmare. On a the Altar of Hope. Here we will spend our candles, we'll see what the different things that we can upgrade now are. Um, now that we have come here for the second Arts time, uh, we can get the into day. the living city, which will let us upgrade our heroes, um, as well as unlock new ones. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna unlock Helion, who is a front ranker with high damage and bleed damage. Vestal, who is a backliner Vestal. that does healing and support. And Leper, who is a front ranker that is Leper. tanky. Now, let us embark. We'll be doing the same confession as last time, since we did not complete it yet. Denial. Alright, here's the team that we will be going with this time. The Leper in the front, Helion behind, Plague Doctor next, and Grave Robber at the end. I didn't quite understand what Vestal did, so I ignored her for now, and I just wanted to kind of try out the others. I did also want to finish the character storyline of the Grave Robber. For the names, we went with Eggs Hunt as the Leper, Dala as the Helion, Sor as the Plague Doctor, and Eric Wurr as the Grave Robber. Now, let us enter the valley with our new party composition. Onward, and let us hope enough yet remains of the world. The Our first stop is a battle with way. two widows and a woodsman. It's a good opportunity for us to get used to the new abilities we're working with. Observe the subject carefully, and you will discover its weaknesses. Dala plays a big part of our main DPS with this lineup. We frequently use her ability, if it bleeds, to poke down enemies and have them stack bleeding damage. Eric Wurr is used for backline DPS and poke by using Poison Dart to apply Blight to enemies in any rank. Sor is the main support, who can apply damage over time as well as status effects. Sor can also heal and cleanse status effects on teammates as well as buff their resistances. Eggs Hunt is the main character of the Leno. He holds the front line and is steady and reliable. He also packs a punch when used to directly attack front ranks. We first take down the Woodsman with Eric Ware getting the last hit on him. And Sor does their job of topping up the team with heals from the back line. Shortly after that, Eric Ware gets the last hits on both of the Widows after they're chipped down by teammates. And thus ends our first combat with the new squad. Are you shaken? There is so much worse in store. In the first area, we only have one combat before we hit the end. I'm guessing it's so that if you decide you hate your team, you can end early. Either way, we make it through and into the first end of this journey. Yet places such as this. The first thing we want to do is spend our mastery points. X Hunt gets the first point, and it goes into Purge to give it the ability to combo. Next, Dala gets Iron Swan upgraded so it can combo as well. Thor upgrades Blinding Gas to add the Daze effect, as well as increase the chance that a combo can happen. With the last two points, we upgrade Reflection and Solemnity on Egg's Hunt to make him a little more sustainable and tanky. We check out the provision shop afterwards and purchase the Radiant Flame 2 and some combat items. We also try out playing cards, which I still don't really understand what those do honestly, but I used them anyways. I thought it would help the positives between people go up and the negatives go down, but I think it caused them both to go up randomly. Next, we had to choose our route. I chose the Tangled because I wanted to get the mastery points first, 
I figured that would make us stronger for the rest of the adventure, versus the candles from the sprawl, which is only useful once we've ended an adventure. War. Rewards only. Resignation. For our route, I chose to first tackle the boss lair because I wasn't sure what that was. I also knew that if we went towards the watchtower we would for sure get insanity up, which I wasn't keen on. At least the other way we had a chance to not get that. The General's Keep As soon as we got into the fight, I realized that we had three rounds of people to fight, which is more than we had ever fought before. It's starting to dawn upon me that maybe we made a mistake. For the first round, Axe Hunt landed the death blow on the knife. Following that, we chipped away at the two foot soldiers with dots before Axe Hunt once again cleaned up the round. Because that first battle only took 6 rounds, I decided to advance to the next battle when given the choice. I figured the next one would be a bit harder, but we should be able to handle it. After pushing Dala to the front rank, she stepped up and slid the drummer in the back line with a single hit from half health. Next up, the knight was killed by blight damage while Sor worked on topping up Dala's health. Finally. Sora finished off the foot soldier with a final attack. Once the battle ended, we got a small amount of loot, and we're kind of baited in by the sheer amount of loot that we would get for the next one. Seeing the amount possible, I just could not let it go. I figured at worst we would get some candles and have to reset again. As soon as I saw the HP on the boss, I knew that we were done for. I was a bit confused why there are two parts to the boss if I seemingly couldn't damage the tap root behind the boss. I honestly did not have any idea what we were in for. I could not figure out what the tangled growth was doing to me, I just knew it couldn't be a good thing. As I very slowly chipped away at the boss's health, he kept giving me a higher tangled growth status. Once it stacked to 3, it became a strangle, which made it so my only move for that character was to use Whispering Darkness to cause stress to my teammates. As more of the team became strangled, the stress piled up. Dala was the first one to hit max stress and her resolve was tested. Unsurprisingly, she matched her real life persona and had a meltdown. After the meltdown, your other teammates look poorly upon you, and your relationships with them worsen. Dala was the first to visit Death's door, but luckily it was not a death blow yet. Shortly after, she was joined by Eric Wurr and Egg's Hunt. At this point, I had accepted my fate of death. All of a sudden, this strangle status went away on everyone, and I had a second chance at life. I took what defensive measures I could at this point to protect the team. Sora buffed the resistances, and Egg's Hunt healed a massive amount with Solemnity. Next, it was Sora's turn to test their resolve, and unfortunately, they also chose to have a meltdown. This once again worsened the relationships among the team. A few rounds later, the entire team was once again strangled which led to everyone being on death's door again. But miraculously, I think, nobody dying. Eric Ward chose to follow the rest of the team and have a meltdown as well. I genuinely don't understand how, but three rounds later nobody had died yet, and we managed to put the boss onto death's door. Finally, Ags Hunt put the Dreaming General to rest and we overcame this endeavor. I'm fairly certain that we got extremely lucky on this boss fight, and I'm definitely not Let understanding something about it, but we managed to squeak our way past it. This is where the original episode ended after a bit over an hour. After this has been cut down to the parts I summarized, it's barely 10 minutes. 
We're gonna leave it here for now, but let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this style of video since I did not intend to make it this way when I recorded it. Leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe if you are not, and I shall see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye